Poland over 40 years ago, a wall was built around the Warsaw Ghetto. And while the city slowly strangled, one family tried desperately to go on with their lives. You call that supper? It's nothing but potatoes. But the isolation and brutality took its toll. And while one son looked to the future through his marriage, his father forgot the past and deserted the family for his own freedom. Father, you can bang me! Bang me! They suffered the same fate as the city around them. Life, death, hope, and betrayal. Until the pain became numbing and a horrible realization set in. Unless we can find some way of surviving, somewhere, these people will wipe us off the face of the earth! And for the first time ever, they fought back. Filmed entirely on location in Poland, a gripping three-hour special. Find out what went on behind The Wall next. The Wall is a dramatization of the struggle to survive in the Warsaw Ghetto during World War II. It is based on a novel by John Hersey. What about it? Big enough for rats to get through. Rats carry lice. So? Lice carry typhus. This wall is not for quarantine.
Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Rachel. Uh, run on ahead, David. I'll catch up with you. Some friends of mine asked me to talk to you. How about what? You're calling the meeting. Rachel, you make me nervous. Someday you're going to end up without a head. It could be useful, you know. It's for every organization in the ghetto. Don't for... tell me. I don't want to hear about it. I don't understand what you think you can do alone. Survive. Hey, I'll see you then. this meeting to see whether we can begin now to work together, regardless of old feuds, socialists, Zionists, left, right, center. I don't have to recite the danger signals we've been receiving lately. A German soldier shoots down a Jew on Tovarova Street just like this for no reason. Outrages against our brothers in Lublin. A massacre in Bialystok. Nothing happened in Bialystok. You don't the soldiers got out of hand. I heard it was a massacre. And I heard the whole story was started by a certain character right here in this room. Are you accusing me of lying? Yes, you. Can we have some order? We seek the brotherhood of all workers for the defeat of Hitler. As to linking arms with all Jewish organizations, I regret to say that's not possible for us. Rappaport, where do you live? What planet do you live on? The German command in Warsaw has an army division, plus a thousand SS men. Machine guns, armored cars? Yeah, of course. No All right. So you tell us how we can resist. With what? With our teeth, our bare hands, slogans, yes, umbrellas. The situation. Tell tell us to us like us sheep until they you must you, yes. you, you are a friend of your people. You, 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 You've been in your last legs for 15 years. How much? 35 bodies. Oh, Rubenstein should have one as well. Let me see. <laughs> this, one, this instrument is in worse condition than even you. You want a clock? No more bread until tomorrow. Hello, Mr. Aft. Listen. Look at you, Mordecai. Hello, Papa. A bricklayer in a 200 zloty suit. I, I offered to buy him an exemption from labor service. No, he had to do it his way. My independent son. Well, let's get upstairs. Wash your hands for dinner, David. Yes. Rachel, I shortened it. How does it look? I want to make an impression when I step on stage at the Britannia Club. I've got my act all worked out. An American song I learned from the movies. Would you get ready for dinner, please? What's going on here? Nothing. Papa! 
David, Papa's home. Oh, How's my little princess? Fine. Rachel, comb your hair. Looks terrible. David? Mordecai, that Mycin figure, the little shepherd, the one with the pipes. Ah, there. Herr Gruber, the German they put in charge of my shop, mentioned he collects mice. Wrap it up. Pass me Papa's plate, please. You call that supper? It's nothing but potatoes. Get me a drink, sweetheart. <laughs> How would you all like to go and live where it's nice and warm? Istanbul, for instance. I think I can fix it for us to get out of Poland. Is this supposed to be a joke? He's got sharp ears, Herr Gruber. He heard the rustle of my money. Can you believe him? Why not? He got me my gate pass, didn't he? A paper, an official paper, that's all it takes. Jews pray to God, Germans pray to paper. I go to the gate, show my little paper. I can get out, go to my shop, manage my business. We're all getting out, my baby. We're going to live where it's nice and warm. It's all arranged. Papa. Yeah. Thank you, Papa. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. any laughs? Are you getting any of it? If other people do, so can you have a little fun? Are you having any laughs? Are you getting any of it? She's if not bad. Not bad. She's marvelous. Is this your marvelous? I think we're all insane. Human nature. Something bad happens, ignore it. Maybe it'll go away. Do you know they killed an old Jew on Tovarova Street? Is it a German who killed him or a Jewish policeman? Is there any difference? We don't have too long before curfew. Stefan, it doesn't bother me, you being a policeman. I don't think you're working for the Germans. Someone has to keep order, better us than them. Try telling that to my father. Well, you know a rabbi. I think a uniform on a man is very becoming. You're so beautiful. <laughs> You know how long it's been since I asked you to marry me? Almost a month. A month. Mordecai? Mordecai? <laughs> Don't rush me, I need time. Time for what? To think. What is there to think about? Hmm? Mordecai? How long can love last inside a wall? on what I want to be when I grow up. For geography? What is it, David? Germans? Coming here? I don't know. Well, go and see. Hurry. Shh. 
clear. Good. For geography tomorrow, a test on the boundaries of Palestine. Be careful going home. I brought you something for the school. Pencils. They're like gold. Mm hmm I understand there's a place on Lesno Street where you can get almost anything. Even chocolate. That's where I got the pencils. Jews making a profit out of Jewish misery, I think, is immoral. Ah. Uh -huh. Mrs. Moses on the mountain bringing us the word on ethics. Maybe the highest morality for a Jew in a ghetto is just to live, do anything, smuggle, steal, bribe, uh, commit forgery, anything, but stay alive. What the hell does it matter where a pencil comes from, as long as it's helping a Jewish child to learn to read and write? Because everyone knows Lesno Street is where Jews sell Jews. How can it be worthless? I paid a fortune for it. It's official. It's signed by Herr Gruber. Worthless. trying, it's closed. Again. 
I can't help you. The Germans have confiscated everything, even the aspirin, the iodine. What? And uh, I'm supposed to report it, keep her here. Is she infectious? Well, that stage is over. Now, listen, Burson, let me give you some advice. I've never seen her. Do you understand? Yeah. Go and take your wife home. What happens if she doesn't get the medicine? <coughs> she may recover. Or she... Uh... She may not recover. Yes. Simka. What is it? You have bronchitis. He's Polish. How does he get past the law? Don't ask questions. In the market for some butter? I smuggled in last night. Talk to me later. Bearson. I'm on duty. I have to get back to work. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they told me what you're after. Can you get it? I was always pretty scarce. Well, a deal. What else would you like? Nothing, that's it. How soon can I get it? Tomorrow night. Thank you. I'm not finished. <laughs> Stefan says you're a man who knows how to keep his mouth shut. Your rations are going to be cut again. Imagine what a hungry Jew will pay for a jar of jam, a piece of chocolate. Huh? You can make yourself a nice living. I'll think about it. Do that. Can I come in? Yes. Are we alone? My wife is in bed. Would you mind closing the door? All right. Just a minute. <laughs> I'm in the market for a Polish identity card. Cost is no object, only it has to be authentic. The papers of someone who's died or left the country. Just one card. Name your fee. When you deliver, you'll get your money. I'm sorry, I can't. Can't? Or won't? Won't. Did 
you know where my medicine is? There's none left. That must have chills. Oh, so come on, get back in bed. Get you some more medicine. It's just some old clothes I'm taking out the cell. Oh, it's true, huh? For the first time in my life, I heard a rumor and I didn't believe it. What's he talking about? How should I know? He's an old man. Little Bibble. What are you talking about? Where are you going? I'm leaving the ghetto. Yes, yes, leaving. In 15 minutes, I will be a pope. Yeah. Registration card, exit pass, Polish identity card. They don't come cheap, I'll grant you. The cost of becoming an Aryan has gone up. That which sets us apart from the rest of the world, you cannot change with a document. 18,000 zlotys, one half an American it is dollar. in your fingertips in the nerves behind your eyeball, in the drumstick of your ear. Foolproof! Absolutely foolproof! Why are you staring? I'm nothing to you. You think your religion is something you can take off like an overcoat? I can't take off what I've never worn. I didn't ask to be a Jew. It was wished on me. The sign of the Jewish faith is on your body. You'll be surprised what a plastic surgeon can do. And the doctor also made you a new heart. Bye, Mordecai. Goodbye, Rachel. Take care, David. Here. Here are a few stones I put aside from the store. Take. Turn away from me. I remember once in the other house, the big house. We were all in the living room. Mama was reading to you. Suddenly you got up and you came across the room and you kissed me. And then you turned and went back and sat down without saying a word. It was just one of those surprises you used to give me. For you it was nothing, an impulse. You must have been seven, maybe six. Papa, my God, don't leave me here. Papa? Take me? You promised me. You can take me, Papa. Papa! Papa, you can take me. Take me! You can take me. I don't love Josh. Look at my face. I don't. Would you mind turning your head this way? Thank you. All right. Sit down. When 
When I give the signal, you cross to the table and set down the food. Bring the others in. Put on your hat. Give him a jacket. I want you to enjoy yourselves. Eat the food. Talk to each other. Otto. Action. The Red Cross wants to know what is going on in the Warsaw Ghetto. They want to see smiles. Eat the food. Enjoy yourselves.
gentlemen. I'm sorry, I, I wasn't I informed. should like to be brief. An order has been issued for the resettlement in the east of all the Jews of Warsaw, regardless of age or sex. I don't understand. You know very well there are too many Jews here. It's true there is some overcrowding, but I'm sure... But the council sure. will be responsible for the daily quota to be delivered to the train station. May I ask how many? For the time being, you can draw from the general population. Of course, all of you in the council will be exempt. The Jewish police, those employed in factories working for the German army, leather shops, uniform shops, etc., etc. Also, hospital patients with infectious diseases certified by a doctor. Are any questions? No? Good. If you will excuse me, gentlemen. Six thousand a day. Any Jew who attempt to avoid, slow down, or hinder the resettlement will be shot. yesterday from my brother Moshe who was resettled in the east work is hard but we eat well better than the ghetto yesterday we got two hot meals my back is still bothering me but I'm much happier come and join me postmark from the Ukraine it's a trick can't you see what they're doing it's Moshe's handwriting I'd know it anywhere he always had trouble with his back what's the latest word on the deportations as close as we can figure it, they've taken 180,000. How much for the bread? Too much for you. Hungry? Give me your jacket. You can have the bread. I'll do it.
Simca's fur. Fifth anniversary present. Really galls me the Germans requisitioning our furs. It means they expect to be stuck in Russia this winter. I don't care, it makes me furious. Can you see a stormtrooper advancing in Moscow in this? Don't give me your furs. Look, if you cut away some of the lining, then you make a little cut. Every few inches. Just be careful that you don't cut the uh, the threads where the skins are stitched together. Sew back the lining, but in the factory where they try to sew it into some German officer's coat. Brilliant. What are you doing? Nothing. If you're thinking of trying anything funny, don't. They're pulling house raids. Is this house on the list? I tried to get you the work pass, but I couldn't. Is this house on the list? I don't know, maybe. Get Mordecai and David. I'll get some help. Go. Together? No. Papers. Papers? No. Left. Left. Papers? Right. It's the same in the bundle. Suitcase. Personal positions. Open it. Right. Right. 
Where have you been? Menke says to guard it with our lives so last you can smuggle till next week. People are still volunteering to go east. To get the marmalade. David, to get what? If you volunteer, the Germans give you bread and marmalade. Stephen's coming for me. The police have permission to bring their women to the barracks. Stefan says they're going to stop the deportations. Stefan says. Stefan says what the Germans tell him. Why do you always do that? Try and throw us into a panic. She's jealous. You've always been jealous. Because I was Papa's favorite. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was true, but not anymore. I'm just trying to tell you. I don't want to hear this. What's going on? Madam Rachel looked into her crystal ball and decided the world is coming to an end. You ready? Let's go. Papa. Listen. The words are on the barracks if the Germans are planning something. What sort of something? They're going to make the ghetto even smaller. They're going to close off some more streets, empty all the buildings, check everybody's papers. When? I don't know. All we hear is rumors. Just don't count on this place being safe. is a new hiding place. A hole in a wall or in the ground? A hole in the ground? You think I want my son born in a hole in the ground? I'm going to be a father. I'm <laughs> Congratulations. What a guy told us. It's wonderful. It'll be all right. I heard this morning from Sweden they're sending an envoy to Berlin to try and save us. Reb. You're a fine man, but you're like a telephone. You repeat whatever is whispered into you. How can you go on having faith? I'm afraid to die. Is that what you think? A man who says he is not afraid to die is a liar. I am calm because I know our faith will survive persecution. You believe that? I believe in the sun even when it is not shining. I believe in God even when he is silent. I can't find my shoes. My so shoes. Where are you going? To the train station. What? I'm going to get the marmalade. Come on. Come the marmalade. I want to get the marmalade. No. No. <laughs>
That's it. Transport from the ghetto? Yes. new man. Time to make it. You're still alive. That way. Will I have difficulty finding it? Now you can smell it. of people go in and nobody comes out only clothes dresses shirts baby shoes pants suits clothing clothes on the way back i asked a workman if he knew what the place was and he said that's the glue factory he said that's the jew camp brother that's where they're taking them from Warsaw. That's the end of the line. This camp, it has a name. Mm -hmm. Treblinka. I propose we form a committee to consider ways and means of investigating this information. After all, 
it was actually not inside the so-called death camp. What we need is to urge the Germans to set up more workshops in the ghetto. Show them we can be useful. We should contact the authorities over the McBride to stop the deportations. Talk! Talk! I'm sorry. I have no right to speak here. I'm only an assistant delegate. But what is this, this so-called underground? A collection of blabbermouths, a wind machine. They've taken 200,000, 200,000, enough to populate a city. Don't you understand? They're burning us. Who's next? You or your wife or your father or my sister? 3,000 are taken every single day, 3,000. And the only one I've ever heard resist was a little boy who began to yell, I want to shoot, I want to kill, I want to eat, I want to be a German! We must defend ourselves! I've drawn up a proposal of supply units and combat groups. As a symbol of armed resistance, I would like to offer this to what we will now call the Jewish Fighting Organization. Regard it as your friend. Get to be familiar with it. Hold it and touch it. How far will it shoot? With any accuracy, 15 or 20 yards. You take aim by looking down the barrel and lining up the sights. Put your forefinger on the trigger, deep breath, let half of it out, squeeze. Doesn't it jump? By that time, Rutger, the bullet's already gone. I've just had word from Kazik. He met with a Polish underground. When do we get our weapons? They say they haven't got any guns to waste. They don't believe we'll ever use them. Listen, how thick is this? Three bricks thick. And what's beyond that? The wall of the store. And beyond that? The courtyard. Yeah. And beyond that? The Germans.
Even if we build this room, this bunker, we'll, we'll still have to move the people out. What? We're gonna have to light the furnace to bake the bread. No, that's the whole point. You light the furnace because they'll be hiding behind the wall of the fire. But what about air? They'll, they'll suffocate. They won't suffocate because we'll sink a ventilation shaft and the heat will dry in the fresh air. Yeah. And the Germans. It won't draw. We'll make it too small to draw in the Germans, Nathan. It won't work. It will. <laughs> Where is everybody? Rutka and Mordecai are living at the uniform factory. Rachel and Burson went out. God knows where. Can I talk to you for a minute? Stefan, what is it? You look terrible. The Germans have issued a new order. Each policeman has to bring four Jews to the train station every day or else he has to go himself. David found some potatoes. Rachel made soup. You'll have some. Papa, they're threatening to take Halinka. Of course, it won't be like Mama's soup in the old days. Papa! Will you go with me to the train station? You're old. They're going to find you anyway. It's just a matter of time. You can save me by going to the train station. Now. What is it?
is it? It's all right. has to start back. Oh. oh, I'll be finished here in a few minutes. You can go and get them to come in. It's fine. Well, we're going to business. Where's Simka? Stefan came and took her. Stefan came and took her? What do you mean that he, he took her to the train? Yes. Sorry about Simka. Oh. Oh. We live in a in a different world now. Uh, love isn't a holy word here. Yeah. It's not. It's not bread. You don't need it to live. This is a world where. Where children buy poison for the parents, and Mama and Papa thank them for their thoughtfulness. When they come with the guns, a woman will throw a child from a window. Her child, her own child, that she bore inside her from a window. What is so hard is that I can't get rid of my rage.
How many of us are there left? 50,000? Less. When does your great army go into action? We can't risk it yet. What are you waiting for, the Jewish Air Force? Here are your Polish papers. Tomorrow you'll get your instructions on where to meet Bersin on the Aryan side. I've still got four more bunkers to inspect. You have to line up outside. Now hurry up. Get dressed. I'll wait for you outside. Stefan? Why can't we stay here? Get dressed. Why can't we stay here, Stefan? Get Stephen? dressed and I'll wait for you outside. Why can't we stay here? No. Was los? Up cats. Where? Right up front. David, you stay here. What a guy come on.
giving me such, such pleasure. I love you, Papa. to see you. And you? Excuse me for a moment, please. I have some business to take care of. Wait for me in a moment. Hmm? I have some good news for you. Hmm? I can make delivery of two cartons of machines. Yeah, how many in a carton? Six. And the bolts to go with them? <laughs> That's a bit more difficult. The machines are no use without the bolts. You will get them. Be patient. Speed is of the essence. Just keep your advance payments coming. Trust me. Same time next week? Yes. Thank you. an exit more difficult to find. If you'll just follow me, sir. Right this way. Thank you. Hold it. If you think you're going to save your skin, it's going to cost you 15,000 slotties. What are you talking about? Hand it over, Jew boy. Hand it over before I change my mind. It's a very serious accusation. One that can easily be proved.
Hello. Come on. You heard from the Polish underground? Yes. Yeah. I ask for help. They uh, they make excuses. I'm surprised you were chosen as a courier. What is more innocent than a pregnant woman? Hmm. There's been some excitement. So I hear. Menkes was shot. And my father is dead. How's Rachel? We lean on Rachel more than she imagined. Mm -hmm. Give her my love. I've got some money for you. Good. We're taking contributions from those who can afford it. Mm -hmm. They get quite generous when they look into the barrel of a gun. Anything that you have to send into the ghetto, I'll make the arrangements. All right. There is something I've been working on, but I don't know whether it's more dangerous for them or for us. <laughs> You'll see it tomorrow. How's Mordecai? He's all right. And you? The baby started moving. No. Want to feel? You should see it out here in summer. You have roses, violets, lilies. My old friend, how often I think of the days when I was janitor in your building. Such nice people, lovely people. Real ladies and gentlemen. Do you have anything for me? Another treasure. Real gem. A little jewel. Light as a seashell. How much? <clears throat> 8,000 slotis. Kuharski, you're like a mistress. The expenses increase as the pleasure diminishes. It's Italian. Can an Italian revolver kill two men at the same time? If you don't like it, don't take it. I'll send it somewhere else. Seven thousand. For an old friend. I paid 6,800 for it myself. I have to make some profit for the risk. You're against us too, aren't you? I'm only against mixing sentiment and business. Twenty years, an old male school teacher. Now I'm retired, it's quite lonely. I don't accept any money for taking in the occasional guest from the ghetto. What I do, I do for the salvation of my soul. Still, it's a kind of lovely bonus, a gift from God, when my boarders can provide stimulating conversation. The last gentleman I looked after was a kosher butcher who adored the place of Jekyll. What did you teach? I taught music. Oh. When I was 12, my parents were absolutely convinced that I was going to be the world's greatest concert pianist. The nearest I ever got to it was... <laughs> was playing an accordion in a sidewalk cafe. Oh. Talent is not so rare as people imagine. What is difficult is discipline. I was always restless. And now? I seem to be saddled with a permanent occupation. Being a Jew. I've imposed upon you long enough. Oh. 
It's been a long day. Thank you, that was delicious. Oh, please. May I take this with me? Yes, of course. Thank you. I hope you'll be comfortable. Could you get me a textbook on chemistry? Advanced or elementary? <laughs> elementary. I'd better start at the beginning. <laughs> Thank you again. Good night. Good night. Sunday morning, everyone's in church. Oh, God. There's the one. Will it make a noise? I haven't the faintest idea. It won't blow up the kiln. No, unfortunately. What is it? Gasoline. Could you hold the box for me, please? Stand back a little bit. Get back. King of the universe, who has made the miracle of creation. Yesterday, it takes a sick genius to use a carousel to divide us. Only the Germans could think it up. I'm really not sure why I'm here again. We seem to have established a ritual for these meetings. I make demands and you decline. The Polish Underground is a military organization with extremely limited resources at the moment. We cannot afford emotional gestures, however heroic. Since I saw you last, I've been receiving some interesting intelligence reports. Small, isolated actions in the ghetto. But actions, nevertheless. After all your appeals, you may find it hard to credit. We're ready to turn over some armament to the ghetto fighters. How much? 50 pistols, 50 grenades. Do you really think that 50 pistols and 50 grenades are sufficient for our needs? 50 pistols represents a lot of dangerous work.
Spunt! Spunt, lunatic! Piper, spunt! Said. Give her my love. That's not a no. Well, it's just an expression that people use. How do you feel about him? How do you feel? <laughs> Don't change the subject. a gang of children out all week long running from cellars and courtyards collecting the bottles. How many have you got? Last count, 219. What about gasoline? Uh, well, I've made arrangements. Um, anyway, I'm going out again at midnight, so I'll, uh, I'll pick it up tomorrow. Deliver it to Pfeiffer's tannery. The night watchman has been bribed. There is a window there that overlooks the wall. We'll have somebody there to take it. All right. Any chance of some more rifles? Uh, well, I think I can get my hands on one more rifle, but the problem is getting the ammunition. Anyway, I'll keep trying. Keep in touch. <laughs> All right, sir. Rachel? It's about your brother, David. I've made some connections. Well, we might manage to get him out. But it's tonight. Now, I can offer you a choice. Two kinds of goods. Uh, first, we can place him with some Catholic nuns in a convent. Uh, they're, they're very good. They're very gentle women. And it would be, in my opinion, a minimum of danger. Uh, the only thing is that, that they're rather possessive and they might want to keep his soul permanently. And the other? The other is nothing but danger. There's a group of children being taken by an underground route to Palestine. On foot? Across Slovakia, Hungary, and Romania. To Istanbul. Are you interested? Yes. In which? The walk. All right. Come with me to the other side. I can't. Please, come on. Down you get. Please, I want you to. David, I'm here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, there's no time. 
And I'm sorry it's frightening. Do you want to live? Do you want to live? Yes. Then that's what you must keep in the front of your mind every minute, every second. I want to live. Now do exactly as you're told, and you might have a chance. Now you move without making a sound, not a scrape, not a squeak. Just follow on and keep your mouth shut. Fritz is on his way to pay you a visit. Yeah, Uncle Fritz. Yeah, he's planning. Yes, listen. He's planning a big celebration, and he's bringing lots of toys. All we have is 650 fighters, and according to our best intelligence, the Germans have ready for action. Aaron, first and third battalions, SS Panzer Grenadiers, detachment of the Rembrandt Division plus several detachments of troops of the line, including artillery and engineers. All told, around 3,000 men. Correct. They also have, we estimate, an additional 7,000 troops held in reserve. Oh, As for our hungry. weapons, each fighter will receive a revolver and 12 rounds of ammunition. There are only a few rifles, Israel. 300 hand grenades, and the bottles. Each of you We'll have to eliminate at least three Germans with a dozen rounds. This means that for every four bullets spent, one German must be removed from action. We also have available a small supply of cyanide tablets for those of you who may wish to take poison in case you fall into the hands of the enemy. Be careful with your ammunition.
for? Rachel. Now, Jews. Now, my dear Jews. Command of the Warsaw sector. Relieved? Yes. New message. As of 0800 hours, as per orders, I have taken charge of the assault against the former Jewish head. For a guard of Führer SS, Major General Jürgen Struth. assault forces encountered very strong resistance. Casualties. One Waffen SS private wound.
Sweeps of the ghetto reveal the former Jewish quarter is honeycombed with a network of buried bunkers and subterranean passages. Jewish bandits must be pulled out by force. that only very small numbers of Jews remain in the ghetto. The grand operation will be concluded by the day after tomorrow, April 26th. Stay against the wall. required to conclude the ghetto operation a week.
Cool. We're in the ghetto. Where? Panska Street, just inside the wall. You've got the map? Here. Will you leave marks on the walls to guide us? Unless the Germans come nosing around. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. The map. Now, how about the sewers? The Polish underground have picked a spot where they think it will be safe for us to get out. Two days from now, three o'clock in the morning, they'll be waiting with trucks. And then what? Well, if we make it, then we join the partisans in the Lomyanki forest. I don't think we have the right to decide that ourselves. Oh, well, what's to decide? There's, there's nothing here but ashes. I'm sorry, but we'll have to discuss it with the others. Eliezer, what are our casualties to date? 427 killed. 33 badly wounded. 95 whereabouts unknown. this plan of Dolex. If we're going to go, we have to be there at the time agreed upon. Escaping to the woods is an illusion. There's only one way to deal with the Germans, and that's to go on fighting. The longer we go on fighting, the more chance we have of appealing to the conscience of the world. What has the conscience of the world done for us? How many of you want to stay? It's so, I don't think you have the right to ask that. How many of you are staying? You're forcing people to say yes when they might want to say no. I force nothing. Here in the ghetto, we can still defend the lives of Jews. Have you asked these poor defenseless Jews if they think that our dying will help them? We are all going to be destroyed. The thing is to die defending Jewish honor. Every time we raise a glass, we say Lachaim to life. There is nothing Jewish about committing suicide. I'm still in command here. Is a soldier at the front permitted to argue whether to stay or to run? That is exactly the point. We are not soldiers blindly obeying orders. Leave that to the Germans. We are not destroyers. But we have always been survivors. And unless we can find some way of surviving somewhere, there will be no future generations. These people will wipe us off the face of the earth.
did you think of me when you first met me? Well, I, I didn't think about you one way or the other. That was my misfortune. <laughs> Could I ask you a question? Yes. And you won't laugh? No. For making love, do I have any talent? Yes. Was suspected as much. Do you think I'll have a child? Oh. I mean, what can happen to children in this world? Why are you in such a hurry? And that's exactly the reason. We must have more to take their place. I keep remembering Rutger saying, you can't know what it's like to be a Jew until you're the parent of one. a wrong turn. No, we didn't.
This is it. What time is it? Oh, um... It's ten to three. You better go and get the others. I will. Tell them to hurry. Be patient. They'll be here in five or six hours. I can't stay here. It's not safe. Sir. What did he say? Only five or six hours. What? Five or six hours? They can't get the trucks. Say goodbye. Have gone wrong. Is it past noon? I'm past. I'll go and have a look. quite him.
with a man who says military medicine changed his life forever. And a look at the hot new trend of go-go music tomorrow on the CBS Morning News.
If you would like to read more about the Warsaw Ghetto in World War II, the Library of Congress suggests these books, The Survivor by Jack Eisner, The Wall by John Hersey, Mila 18 by Leon Uris. These and many other good books are available in your local library and bookstore. Visit them. They'll be happy to help you read more about it.